Good morning, welcome to Viking Mountain Ranch. Well, we're getting uh, ready to move some hay for the cattle where well, they need a new hay in the ring. So come along, thanks for joining. So they know when the hay is coming. <laughs> They're anticipating a new bale. They see it coming in the distance. Hey guys. Good morning. How are ya? So we got a real foggy morning. It's been raining. Hi JR. How are ya? Good morning. You're a good boy. Yeah, he's a sweet bit. I'm Sue Ellen. Come on, big girl. All right. Well, I gotta go get the gate. to come check out the net wrapping. <laughs> They're so curious. So to the, the cows, it's like us humans waiting for our food to get done and anticipating it. <laughs> so here comes the, the bale. When you're entering into the, the pasture and the cows see the, the hay, 
you gotta watch out they don't run out the gate. They could care less about the gate now. They're all around there, hey, eating. Okay, so mission accomplished. We get to lock back up again. Okay, so what we're trying to do today is set some corner posts in the fencing for the, the pasture. So we have two there, and then you can see the little string that goes all the way, all the way down the hill there. Okay, I'm going to put the fence post down there. Okay, so we got the two poles concreted in and they're set. Let them dry until tomorrow and then we'll start uh, pounding in the fence post. The metal fence post, so I'm gonna walk up here. It's quite a steep embankment. And then if you can see up at the top, there's the other two fence posts, they are set. So, it's coming along. Let's go see Mr. Newton. And of course, Mr. Inky. Hey boys. Come on, I have a treat for you. Hi. Yes. So he his favorite thing is roasted peanuts. Ready? There you go roasted and salted peanuts. His horns are growing. Look at that. He's still in rut, of course. Oh, 
also one of my favorite things to do when I get a minute is to go exploring in the in the forest and what's really neat is I come across these amazing rock structures get through all this brush. Like these, these are pretty neat. circles around. Some of them are pretty steep and then there's caves underneath of them. It's like a ledge and I was told that there's been many um, Indian artifacts found in these caves. Uh, I haven't gone into them yet. I just never have really had the time but there's an opening there and then there's some uh, uh, arrowheads and stuff like that people find so something else I wanted to show you which I found um, as you may or may not know we raise all of our animals organically which means we don't give them any kind of uh, chemicals vaccine shots or anything like that uh, ever and so uh, what we do is preventive health so we make sure that we do everything to prevent any problems in the animals. And one of the things that we give them is this. So this is a Redmond garlic salt block. Here you can get it at your feed store or you can uh, order it. And it has all, it has the minerals in it and it also has garlic. So uh, about a month ago, uh, a couple of the cows that we had gotten from the cattle barn you know and there's like 5,000 cows that come through there so no doubt they're spreading all kind of you know germs and things like that so Sue Ellen and a couple of the other ones got a cold they got a runny nose and they were coughing and everybody kept saying well you got to give them shots and things like this and so you know as usual I said no and so what I did is we got them this cattle block with the garlic in it and they've been licking it. I got them two blocks. One's over here. And it has like a little indentation in the top part. So it can hold water. And then it softens the, the minerals. And so they come over and lick it. And nobody has a cold anymore. Nobody's sick. Nobody has a cough. Nobody has a runny nose. Despite going through that really bad four day blizzard last week. I mean the cattle were covered in snow. <laughs> um, they were fine. Everybody's healthy. Everybody's well. Nobody's sick. So that's one thing that I highly recommend. Now goats, you know, I do a lot with my goats and I can give them by mouth oregano oil capsules. You know, I give them, they haven't had any garlic per se other than in powder. Um, I put it in the drench gun with the herbs, but now since the girls are pregnant, I can't give them all those herbs, so I do give them the uh, oregano oil soft gels and it keeps them healthy and free of parasites. Well, we really used up a lot of our wood that we had cut, you know, for the weather. We are down to only that much left which means I got to get chopping again. Um, thank goodness we had that because it, it was cold. Um, it was up to here, up to there. And so we used all of that wood. I mean, people don't realize that like every hour it takes two pieces of wood to burn. So you got to keep putting wood on the fire. Every couple hours you got to, you know, bring in wood and, and fill up the fire. Okay, so we're down here on the on the bottom of the pasture putting the fence post in and let me show you what we just broke up. You can't really tell the elevation from the camera but uh, it goes uh, about 20, it's about 
I don't know, a 40 feet drop from the top of that hill down to here. And we were trying to put a uh, fence post in so we could have a gate between these two areas here. And everywhere we tried to dig was a huge boulder. So we tried to put it there where we said, okay, we'll put in a two 10 foot gate to make it a 20 foot opening and then that didn't work. And then we said we put in a 16 foot gate and then that didn't work. So we have all these holes and then we hit uh, just rock plates. So we, we took this boulder up. This was a, a job to get up. And then we got the hole drilled and concreted in right here, put this post in. And you can see right there the edge, that's a, a rock plate. So this would be a really good fence post. And then Larry's up at the top. He's coming down with the Kubota up there. And then if we walk over here to this area, this is the side of a cliff here. Nice area down there. Goes down into like a valley. And then it, it goes straight up there. And then here's a nice deer print. They come up and down this uh, rocky cliff here because down at the bottom there's water. Not to mention we keep breaking bolts constantly. When we hit a rock, it breaks a bolt. Okay, we're going to use the skid steer to pound the, the rock spike.
Thank you for watching Viking Mountain Ranch. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the like button and share it. I appreciate it.